CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam Questions 86 through 90 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 86. A network administrator is configuring a router that must handle multiple VLANs while operating with a single physical interface. Which of the following would be the best solution to enable communication between VLANs in this scenario? The answer is A. Configure sub-interfaces on the router. When a router has only one physical interface but needs to manage multiple VLANs, sub-interfaces allow it to handle tag VLAN traffic using the 802.1Q standard. Each sub-interface is assigned to a specific VLAN, enabling inter-VLAN communication without requiring additional physical ports. Question 87. An office has noticed a decline in productivity due to employees spending excessive time on social media during work hours. Management wants to restrict access to non-work-related websites while allowing necessary business functions. Which of the following should be implemented to address this concern? The answer is D. Configure content filtering. Content filtering is used to enforce acceptable use policies by restricting access to specific websites or categories, such as social media, during business hours. This is typically implemented through firewalls, proxy servers, or security appliances that inspect and filter network traffic based on predefined rules. Question 88. Which of the following methods allows for the management of network devices using a separate, dedicated IP address space, ensuring access even when the primary network is down? The answer is D. Out of band. Out of band management provides a dedicated, isolated network for managing network devices using a separate set of IP addresses, independent of the primary production network. This ensures that administrators can still access and troubleshoot devices even if the main network is experiencing connectivity issues. Out of band management is commonly used for remote management via dedicated management interfaces. Question 89. A network administrator needs to configure a static backup route to take over if the primary route fails. If dynamic routing is not being used, which of the following methods will determine which route is preferred? The answer is C. Administrative distance. Administrative distance, or AD for short, is used to determine the reliability of a route when multiple static routes exist. It assigns a priority to routes based on their source, with lower values being preferred. Since dynamic routing protocols are not used in this scenario, the administrator must configure a higher AD to ensure the backup route is only used when the primary route becomes unavailable. Question 90. A network administrator is deploying a new switch and wants to confirm that the default priority value for STP is correctly set. Which of the following values is the default STP priority for most switches? The answer is C, 32768. Spanning tree protocol, or STP for short, prevents network loops by electing a root bridge based on priority values. The default STP priority for most switches is 32768 unless manually configured otherwise. A lower priority value increases the likelihood of a switch becoming the root bridge. Priority values are typically set in increments of 4096, allowing administrators to influence root bridge selection in larger networks. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.